Good day, World Wide Web. I just wanted to do a video and say a big thank you to all of those hardworking people, mostly women that I've known, who do childcare. And that has got to be one of the hardest jobs to do. To take care of another person's child, you have to be careful, these, especially these days, how you discipline them, what you feed them, what you do with them during the day. I've been so fortunate to have two amazing women take care of my son. Lael in Fort McMurray, you were an angel and um, it was an absolute pleasure to know you and thank you again for all the wonderful things you did with Logan while you had him. Cindy, who's here in Milton, who's currently watching my son right now, and uh, she gets him out and active every day. They're always doing arts and crafts and stuff and uh, she's great too, always keeps him busy. It really takes a village to help raise your child because you can instill as much values that you want in your in your child but eventually they're going to pick up stuff from other people that's just life and how it is and both these women have helped build up my son's confidence they got him you know doing things with his hands where he can get dirty where before he would freak out if he had dirt on his hands his first birthday we tried to do the cake smash and he, he just was not having it he cried and yeah it was bad so yesterday i dropped my son off and it was rare that he did this he just he's always a very positive happy boy but everybody has their days and he just did not want to go to the babysitters go to cindy's house um, and I dropped him off and he started crying. He didn't want to let me go. He just wanted to go home and uh, Cindy, you know, helped get him away from the door and I'm like, so, and I just, sorry Cindy as I'm leaving and I almost started crying in the truck when I was driving away because that's got to be one of the hardest things to do as a parent is to walk away from your child when they're crying. Oh, it's heartbreaking and it's so sad. Sure enough, he was fine two minutes after I left. I texted her as soon as I got to work to make sure he was fine. And he was fine. Um, I wanted, actually, on the way to work after I dropped him off, I wanted to call my hubby and let him know what happened. But then I would have had two Baker boys panicking and not all anxiety on my hands, so I didn't. <laughs> just left it with just the one who I knew it was going to be okay. That's definitely a job I couldn't do. Um, you got to have the patience of a saint. So let's give a shout out and a big thank you to all those amazing women. I'm sure there's men out there who do it too, um, who take care of your kids when unfortunately sometimes you just can't and you have to work and it comes down to getting daycare. Um, so thank you so much for everybody um, who does do a good job because um, it takes a lot for a parent to trust another person to watch their child. I mean, that's your child is an extension of you, the most precious person that you have to you is your child and um, it really means a lot when you can find somebody who you can trust and who you respect and they respect you and they help to follow your rules that you're trying to instill in your child you know potty training well, was a big one finally we're there yay he's a four and a half i've been trying for three years now to, um but now he's been potty trained for i'd say a good month or two now it's been solid no diapers at night even so thank god we're there just in time to welcome my second one. I always said I'm only gonna have one child in diapers at a time. Don't take your uh, daycare provider for granted. Give her or him a big thank you and uh, pay them as well as you can because that job has got to be crazy. For me, I wouldn't be able to do it because I'd be home and I'd be wanting a nap. <laughs> it's like, okay kids, let's all go down for a nap. Um, when it's your own child, you can kind of maybe put on a movie or give them your phone and say, let mommy nap for an hour and then you're good to go. I mean, I don't do that. That's terrible. <laughs> you definitely could not do that with other people's kids. So it takes a lot of energy, um, a lot of patience, and uh, I just want to give a lot of my thank you to those ladies who do that for us. So. Give thanks to your daycare provider and send some love and light. Mwah.